Design Studio. What is up, y'all? It is your girl Lala, aka Lachelle, aka Shell, aka Michelle, my bell. And y'all, my voice is shot. I've been trying not to record so that I can recover, but I honestly feel like this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna still record while I can and hopefully y'all like it and love it. Um, if not, we're gonna be all right because what should say at the end of the day the day gotta end. <laughs> that means my voice gotta come back, right? <laughs> With that being said, y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to my new living situation due to some safety issues and for the sake of my mental health mama zoe has packed up the twins and has taken them to the country country just like she did me when i was there she asked me to trust her she told me that they would be back to visit y'all already know what i'm gonna say okay because when mama zoe took me when i was little it had something to do with my journey so I'm not going to interrupt when the elders speak. Normally, depending on who it is on it, I listen. But with that being said, I had to pack up everything and move. And I am living a much more modest and humble life because Mama Zoe move cost us a little more than we both could afford. So here we are. If you're interested in my new living situation, baby, stay tuned. So we're going to start on the first floor. As you can see, I live right across the street from the community center. This is not a big city. Yes, if you haven't noticed, it is low income. But around here, we make the best for what we got. Okay. So one thing I will say, um, I can go into them because I already got permission. But first floor apartments um, look just like second floor apartments. Except second floor, people get a little more privileged because you pay me. Right, so on the first floor, here's what it looks like. I'm not gonna hold y'all the second floor to me. They said you get more space, but to me, the apartments are just I mean, we're gonna keep it a die out. So it's um, two rooms, one bath, um, and then you got like a kitchen and a living room, and that's it. <laughs> like I said, this is low income, so keep your expectations. Up. But of course, you make the best of what you got, okay? And then every apartment, whether you're upstairs or downstairs, has a patio. And there's another building. And there's the community center. <laughs> I make say, hey, yo, wow. Why is that something like that? Because I keep hearing the sound. Right? So I'm going to show y'all the common areas. Yes, I will show y'all what the inside of my apartment looks like, but not to the end. So I already showed y'all what all the apartments are like. I'm not even gonna hold you. In my opinion, and I'm gonna just kind of cam in because I didn't get permission to go into every apartment. Y'all, they all look the same inside. There's a total of 10 apartments available. Y'all, it's raining too, if y'all can hear that. So here is the laundry room. So we have a um, what do they call it? A common area that everybody gets to use, and that's the laundry room because you do not have washers and dryers in your apartment. I'm assuming you can put them in there if you want, but you probably gotta pay more for a hookup. So we got a Volvo machine in the laundry room, a vending machine. Y'all see, we got Pop Tarts, chips, sodas, all that good stuff. Um, we do have a ramen machine, and at first of all, I was like, ramen from a machine, baby, it's giving some type of food poisoning. But no, I've eaten here a few times. Um, Cause you know when money is tight, ramen is where it's at. I've been here a few times, and not only is it good, the stuff that's in there is fresh. So I don't know who comes and replaces it, but it's a good machine. And you got the soda machine, and then you got your coffee machine. Even though we got Dunkin' Donuts, it's in that direction. <laughs> Even though we got Dunkin' Donuts right down the street, if you just want to walk from your apartment and grab some real real quick. We got this down here, and it's not expensive. And then we got the burger one again. I thought the food wouldn't be fresh, but y'all, I've tried it, and it is. You got a sitting room. We had a TV, and management made it very clear <laughs> that they're not replacing it. So they said to replace it, they got to increase rent, and we was like, we could watch TV in our own apartment or on our phones, period. So this is the actual wash area. 
We got four washers and four dryers. There are laundry carts everywhere. As you can see, people have not been the cleanest and management said they are not made, so we gotta get it how we live. Next up is the, let me step back, Internet Cafe, honey. Yeah, we got an internet cafe. And we have two printers. I believe they print, copy, and fax and scan. And then, y'all, this is what we got. Again, it's low income housing. So don't come in here expecting Mac computers and luxurious desks. We get three computers. Wi Fi is pretty good to me in here. So you can't complain. I feel like we pay a very low amount of rent. So one thing I'm not going to do is complain. And then, is that it? No, 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 no. And then we have a bathroom in here. And um, <laughs> as you can see, it's a gender neutral bathroom. You read the sign. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't know if you got any weirdos, any creeps. Management don't play that. They don't. You will go to jail. <laughs> That's what they, you will go to jail. So this is just a bathroom. It's nothing super luxurious, but to me, it's not bad. Remember, this is all public access. So if you want to leave your apartment, you still got access to these amenities, right? And it has a patio. Um, the central air doesn't work in here, y'all. So they got the window AC. And I feel like for the area, it does pretty good. So, you know, and you got your own apartment, honey. If it's too hot, go in your apartment. Um, let me take y'all to the community center real quick. You ever told him, I got G's. You ever made a video of me? <laughs> well, guess what? I'm JP. I make a CAO file. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, y'all. That's stuck in my head, so I gotta be stuck in here. So, this is the community center. We have a banquet hall. Doesn't it look so pretty? I helped decorate it, okay? And we as a community have been coming together because I'm not gonna hold y'all. Management is not the best, right? But at the end of the day, they got to end. Management is not the best. So we as a community put together what we can to make the best of situations. Y'all part of my camera is not raising everything. We have a community kitchen. As you can see, people not the cleanest. So they left a sink full of dishes. But go off, baby. Okay? It's still a common area. Again, you can't complain. And then upstairs, we take classes. And there is like a mini cafeteria. So we got that going for us. And then I'll take y'all to the pool. We have two pools, actually, guys. We just hosted a welcome event to invite new tenants. We got two pools, this small one in the banquet hall. I think this is more so if you want to throw an outdoor event. As you can see, they got glass encasings to protect you as much as they can from the weather. Now, if it's sunny, I don't know if you want roast or not, because I don't see much of it. Oh, it is ventilation. I'm wrong. If it's sunny, you got this area down here of ventilation underneath the brick wall and you got the pool. But you can host yourself like a little gathering outside and if the weather is like rainy, you protect it from the rain. So as you can see, it is raining outside. And just like most of my exes, the weather switched up on us quick. Anyway, <laughs> that's the community center. There are three different apartment buildings. 5115, 5116, 5117. This is my little RV, getting good and rained in. I don't know if y'all can see the rain. My can't stand the rain. My grandma used to say it's not a good thing when it rains like this and it's sunny outside, but we're good. This is the community pool, y'all. Yes, it is free. It's not clean. <laughs> Management said they'll get to it when they can. So we as tenants are trying to coordinate a cleanup. I say we, it's only like two of us left, um, but yeah. So we're trying to coordinate our own cleanup because we want to go swimming, y'all. Y'all see, this is a good pool, okay? And they got a jacuzzi. Now the jacuzzi, they clean because they want to use. But the pool, they don't, honey. But it's a nice pool and you can host events here. Um, they're pretty lenient. They just literally management number one rule is don't push it. Mm, that's it. So that's the community pool. Again, y'all, please pardon my voice. It's tore up. That's the community pool. Here is our community park, and it's fenced in, um, mostly to help with the dogs. People don't really have kids here, so you know. You got a bird bath. There's a bird in it, so I'm going to walk away because I don't want to get pecked. 
You got this little gazebo to supposed to protect you from the rain, but you know, go on. Um, <laughs> and then you got like this cute water fountain. I mean, it's not huge, but if you want to come outside and work out, and as you can see, it's fenced in all around. So, you know, safety too. Right? So if you want to come here, I think it's actually nice. I will host like a wedding reception here. All this, you know, but that's me, whatever. I can't say the rain against what? Against my window. I, I can't stand the rain mm. against my window. Y'all don't come for my voice. I know y'all can tell I got laryngitis, okay? I'm still recovering. I was worse than this. I can't stand the rain uh, against my window. Okay, so this is the yoga studio. Lamar classes, and then you see the pregnant ladies. Now, I will say, when it comes to cleanliness, management is big on that in places like this. So they came, and not only do they scrub this place down, it still smells like ammonia. I'm not even gonna hold you. They scrub it down, and they use that steamer. Remember when we had COVID, and they had like the COVID virus killer steamer machines or whatever? They still use them. And then this is the regular yoga studio. Y'all, the butterflies are like some type of ambient effect. No, they're not live butterflies, child. They will fly free. But this is the yoga studio. If you just want to do regular yoga. And if you're not, and all of this is free as a resident, I think you can pay to be a member, though, if you don't want to live here. Because they're going to make their money, honey. This is the fitness center. And there's a locker room. Um, the men's sign is tore down. Just act like y'all got some sense, okay? So, this is the actual gym. And I feel like it's not bad for, especially for low-income housing, but I feel like it's not bad in general because they keep it clean. So, we got two bikes, two treadmills, two punching bags, weight benches. Um, we did get these new cardio machines from Canopy. We're trying to get a third. They think we'll have it in by next week. Um, we got the dumbbells, we got the kettlebells, they got towels, and again, in places where you're supposed to be hygienic, they're very hygienic. And then if you just want to wait for a friend, you can wait in the waiting area. So that's that on that. Y'all, again, please excuse my camera. I dropped it, and I'm doing what I can with what I got. So, this is our local grocery store. I can't stand the way. Yes, my window. Sorry, y'all. Every time I see the rain, I'm it. This is our local grocery store. It's like, a, it's like a mini mart. That's what I would say. They got spirits over here. Y'all know what that means. If you're an adult, if you don't know what it means, you too young to be over here. You got coffee, teas, veggies, fruits, meats, all that good stuff. Employees, um, shopping carts, or baskets, whatever you want to use. I feel like it's not a lot to show. It's just a small mini mart. Um, we, you can. You have the option of traveling out of town to go to the big supermarket, but most of us just get everything we need there. Then you got Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all, they left the door unlocked for me, okay? And you normally can't just bust up in here when ain't no employees here, but they left it unlocked for me. Probably free promo, okay? Um, come, grab some donuts, grab some coffee, grab a latte, you know, the huge. We have a drive-thru. Where is it at? Oh, there you go. We have a drive through but as y'all can see, that's a big wall there because there's nowhere to physically drive through. It's actually a walkthrough, and they're working on putting sidewalks so that in these common areas where we're walking in between buildings, we don't have to walk through the grass. So like I said, it's low income, but they try to take care of us. So this is a drive through And yes, they will let you walk through because, because some people do um, food orders. And the kids come pick it up. Not kids, I shouldn't say that. They're younger people. But they come pick it up on their bikes and stuff. So that's for them. Um, they'll allow you to walk through, but they're going to side-eye you. I promise you that. They're going to side-eye you because that's for the people on, like, bikes and scooters and mopeds. We're not a big town, so most people don't really drive um, cars, cars here. But we got roads so, and parking lots, so if you want to drive, you can drive. But, yeah, that's that on that. Um... And that's the city, y'all. It's the city. It's the city. Oh, I forgot to show y'all in there. It's nail salon. So we have a hair and nail salon. 
Um, fellas, you can come get a cut too. We just don't have a dedicated barber shop because we don't have dedicated barbers. So, you know, we got to get you women that can do both. <laughs> we got pedicure stations, um, manicure stations. Whoever thought of, I got you. <laughs> and then you get your hair done, right? Go ahead and get a wash. You get a style. As you can see, we got hooded dryers, not really dryer seats, but again, I feel like we're doing pretty good for a small town. So that's everything. Now I know it's everything. Y'all, this is my little RV. This is the back of my building. So I can see right out into the pool area. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm just going to stop the camera here, y'all, because when we return, we're going to be inside my apartment. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that video was getting long. It was getting long. <laughs> So, editing shell here. I decided to make it a two-parter. If you want part two now, I need at least 10 people to drop it in the comments. Because in part two, I'm going to drop that SL URL in case you're trying to come and live on the east side. Alright, y'all. Love y'all to like. Thank you so much for watching. 